Um, what's the biggest difference between college basketball and uh, NBA? Is it the tempo or what, what's the biggest difference? Yeah, the tempo changes even from high school to college. It's a big change in the tempo, the athleticism of the players. I mean, you're getting the best of the best. And, and, and so it's, it's at a very high level. Uh, so you have to be able to perform at a very high level. Um, and then that's, that's really mainly probably the difference, you know, the strength of the players, the athleticism of the players. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty profound. Are most great players born or made? Uh, both. It's a combination. Um, the really, really great ones are born with what I talked about earlier. It was just the fact that you have this, uh, I don't know if I talked about earlier, I was talking to somebody else about it earlier today is that if you have a natural feel for the game, that's a critical element and great, great players have that. It's something that can never be taught. And so that's a critical element. Uh, and then the other stuff can be learned. I mean, you can learn how to become a better shooter. You can learn how to become a better ball handler. You just have to put the time and the effort into it. Uh, you can learn all of the other things, learn how to screen your man off the boards, low, you know, learning ball man relationship, learning weak side help defense, all the other things that are part of the game. You can learn those things and you can perfect them and get better at it. But the one thing that you can't teach a player is a feel for the game. It's kind of like I tell you, I can teach you how to, sh how to pass, can't teach you how to see. <laughs>